Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to update or flash your Dell BIOS. Now if you've got a Dell system then you might want to keep your BIOS updated and this is the way I'm going to show you how you can do it with this uh, Dell Optiplex 3050 but this can work for many other Dell systems. Now the first thing to remember is if you do have some sort of hard drive encryption or bit locker encryption then you need to disable that before you can continue flashing your BIOS. Now you'll notice that we've got uh, the legacy uh, BIOS here and also the secure boot is turned off and that's because I've did, done it this way for this little system. You could be in UEFI mode and you can decide whether you want to turn off secure boot and go into legacy uh, BIOS or stay into UEFI BIOS. Either way, it doesn't matter. But go into the BIOS set setup here and once you're inside the BIOS setup, you're going to see your BIOS screen here. Inside here, you're going to get access to the system information, and this will give you the system information for the motherboard and tell you what version of BIOS you're running here. You can see this is version 1.8.3, and uh, you can also see the date here. It'll give you the date and everything else and the information you need. So I know this BIOS is pretty outdated. Now, there might not be any updates for your BIOS if you're running a really old system, but... This is a, a seventh gen processor in here, so I'm pretty sure that this should have some sort of BIOS update. Now, I've also can see here the secure boot is disabled. I've disabled this um, just for the BIOS flash. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over uh, to the website to see whether there is an actual BIOS update for this uh, little device here. So what I'm going to do here is come out of this and go to our uh, Windows system now this is running Windows 10 on here and uh, it's not capable of running Windows 11 because of the CPU in this actual mini PC so I'm going to type system information and we can take a look at the information here for this uh, computer and you can see looking inside here it does give us the information we need about the system about the bias date and version you can see here 1.8.3 and you can see 23rd of the third 2018 was the BIOS version date on here and we've got the BIOS mode which is in legacy and the board version baseball version here as well so you can get all useful information from uh, this location and uh, this is very useful and you can see the BIOS version date here so you can see the uh, CPU in this one is an i5 7500T which means it's not on the compatible list for Windows 11, but that's okay. We can still use Windows 10, and I want to get this uh, BIOS update done. So head over to the Dell website, and uh, you can see here for this model, I've done a search for this model, which is the Dell Optiplex 3050, and on here you can do a search for recommended driver updates, but we're going to be doing a manual find a, a specific sort of driver for this, and you can see I've got a Windows 10 operating system here selected, and you can see there is a BIOS system update here for the 9th of August 2022. And it says it's urgent. So we can now download uh, this version here. I'm going to download this and this will be an executable file. Now, I really do like the way this is um, flashing the BIOS, this method, because uh, it just makes it so much more easier for people. So you can see we have the Dell firmware update here. I'm just going to run this at the desktop and say yes to this you can see this utility will update the system bios and firmware during the update procedure your system will restart before you continue close all uh, open documents and exit all running applications so you want to make sure you close all of those and do not interrupt the procedure once it begins so we're going to restart here and you can see is now saying do you want to execute the bios update procedure and it's going to give us the information here of the system information and what's going to be updated. And we can click OK here. And what it's going to do is prepare the update and start that process. Now, again, if you're running any sort of background activity like updates and backups and stuff like that, you need to stop all those before you continue this because it will shut down the PC. And uh, we're going to let the PC restart. And it should take you into the Dell uh, splash screen here which says updating your firmware do not power off your system this is another important part you do not want to power off your system at this stage otherwise you run the risk of bricking your motherboard and it will be completely dead and you will not be able to boot to your system so again there's always a little bit of a risk of flashing the firmware or bios 
on any sort of motherboard. So take that into consideration before you start flashing your firmware on your motherboard. So what is the point of flashing your BIOS or your basic input output system? The reason why you need to uh, flash the BIOS is for resolving any sort of uh, sort of issues that you might be having, any compatibility issues with RAM, and uh, it improves computer stability and performance uh, if there's having an issue with the BIOS. Also, you've got the current BIOS that you're using uh, might not support any sort of new hardware component that you're plugging into the computer or any sort of future Windows uh, installations that you might be doing. You might need to flash that BIOS to a certain level before it will accept any sort of hardware like a CPU, for instance, like a Ryzen CPU or something like that. You might need to flash the BIOS first before you can actually use that latest and greatest CPU. So really security patches and also uh, compatibility is really the main sort of reason and uh, things like that. So if you're having issues like crashing, sometimes this happens on very new hardware or new motherboards. And generally what you'll see is manufacturers releasing loads of BIOS releases for that motherboard to patch compatibility for RAM and also CPU and high temperatures or some sort of security issue and things like that. So that's the reason why you're going to see a lot of BIOS releases for very new hardware. As the hardware becomes a little bit older, that the updates become less frequent. And again, sometimes they stop uh, releasing BIOS updates altogether. Now, Dell and HP and companies like that are pretty good at releasing uh, BIOS updates for their hardware and for their PCs. So they're one of the two companies that re do release um, BIOS updates on a pretty frequent basis. You can check, as you can see, this is a Dell Optiplex 3050, and they've not long just released a new August 2022 a BIOS update for it so you can see, see that they are actually still maintaining their upgrading and updating policy. So we're near the end of the flashing progress here for this Dell system and you should see it will get to 100% and hopefully we will get it successfully updated. So let's see what happens here. There we go. Firmware updated successful rebooting your system. Now you can go into the BIOS again and check to see whether the update has gone through OK here, and hopefully everything has gone through OK. We should see a new uh, date and information on here, system information. You can see BIOS version 1.21.0. So it is the latest version here, so it has successfully updated that. And you can also check this by looking at the file itself. It should tell you the version number here, and you can also go back to system information, and it will tell you uh, the update and the date version and the BIOS version and all that information inside here, as I've already shown you before. And if you look at the date of the BIOS here, you can see it's the latest version here. So it's been successfully updated. Now, of course, if your PC is working perfectly fine and you're having no issues, you might not want to update your BIOS and that's perfectly fine. That's your choice. And again, that is just a method of showing you how to flash your BIOS on a Dell uh, computer. You can do it from the desktop here and it will take you straight to the uh, flashing process and it will literally flash your bars for you. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.